Some of my favorite styles of dreadlocks. This is it. Um, some of my favorite individual little baby dreads. The first is, first I call them the ropes. So they, it looks like, and I'm not sure if you guys know why, leave a comment and let me know why, because I'm not exactly sure, but some of them look like, they look like rope. So the first is, so the first is this rope. I get these little rope dreadlocks that come along. It's almost as if they were fairies dreading my hair for me in the middle of the night and they were using my hair as a ladder and so they put these little rungs in them i kind of like at first i didn't like them because it didn't look it doesn't look smooth you know it doesn't look like real even and cylindrical and straight and neat and proper dreadlocks but whatever you know sometimes you can't get them that way especially when they're freeform so that's the first kind. I like the not like dread, naughty dread like. So that's the that's the first of my favorite kinds. The second are the Congos. I get these. Let's see if I can find one. I got some pretty gnarly ones in here. Ooh, here we go. So if you guys are new, and you haven't seen too many of the freeform dreadlocks, how they are, this is what they start to do. So this is what my dreadlocks started off as. They were all like this size. Can you use that enough? This. And so this whole one right here is three dreadlocks that started to come together and they've almost reached the, they've almost reached the tip. Um, it started at the base and then it's working. Start up in the bottom now, yeah. And now it's the top. Those are the Congo. So when you hear uh, Bob Marley's Nazi Dread song and he goes, Dreadlock Congo Bongo I. That's what he's talking about, Dreadlock Bongo Congo, because he's got the Congos, what up? So those are my second fave. And then the third are these, I think it's because at first I used to put my hair up a lot, but not in a ponytail, just like a half something, you know what I mean? And it curved all the dreads in, so it was like they were all coming around my face. They used to do it more, but not so much. So I would get these really interesting bendy dreads. Um, damn, really? You can't see that focus? Come on! I like when they curve for some reason, but I lost the curve because I don't wear it up as much as I used to. Damn, I look real tired right now. That's <laughs> had a late night <laughs> but um those are those are some of the kinds of of locks you guys can be expecting to get if you're just starting out your um freeform dreadlock journey which is pretty crazy because they they have different levels of maturity and you can s i started the journey on the other channel so you can't see what they looked like in the beginning but if you go to my instagram which will be in the description you can actually see just scroll down the timeline and um, uh, you can see the progression of the dreadlocks and if you're feeling super motivated you can put those pictures in a video for me and send them to me so I don't have to do it myself and I'll shout you out on my channel because I'm way too lazy to put those pictures together to put together another YouTube video um, but uh, yeah so But yeah, all you new freeform dreadlockers out there, good luck. It's going to be mad. Oh, I know the one I threw in there. The tips are starting to change colors. That's mad cool. I did not expect that to happen. At first, I thought it was because they were just dirty as hell. So I washed the hell out of them. And I'm like, no, man, it's just because the sun's bleaching your hair. And I was like, no oh, shit. But I forgot that was a thing. I, th I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. That happens. That's the thing. Your hair gets bleached. So the tips are almost kind of like two-tone. Was that called amber ombre ombre even though i think ombre is actually brother in spanish but uh oh <laughs> whatevs so those are some of the cool locks you guys can be expecting to get again i uh, hope hope you enjoy like and subscribe i'll have and um we'll do, we'll do this this will be a two for one video also so that's it, y'all. I know that was short and simple and sweet, but I was running out of material and I thought, ooh, this might be a good idea to do that one. So if you have more questions, that'd be great. Leave me a comment, um, drop me a like or something. I can I can tell you whatever you want to know about the preform dreads as, as far as the knowledge has come across myself. So 
Thanks for being here. Um, I'll see you in the next video. And check out the other videos on the channel. I've got a lot of cool shit going on. Um, something you might be interested in. Something you might not. Something you might not know that was there. That's a treasure chest and might change your life. Because I got some of that too.